Someone was definitely conceived at the MTV Beach House and is now 25. When I think of MTV Beach House, I think of the quintessential time of MTV before it became a vehicle to play ridiculousness for 14 hours straight. Music acts would come and perform in this house that was full of jovial teenagers, but it was really all just a scam to sell M&Ms and hair care products. When MTV started, cable was definitely like in its infancy, but by the time that like the Beach House kind of era started, I think that cable was becoming way more of a common thing. And if anything, I kind of wonder if a lot of that is because a bunch of teenagers want to watch MTV. If you didn't know what was going on, you signed away all right, you have to be cool. I think that one of my favorite moments is later in the MTV Beach House era, Kelly Clarkson was the biggest thing on the planet. She was from the first season of American Idol. Miss Independent came out, and that was just like a banger for me in middle school. And what's really funny about her beach house performance is she's just like walking through the beach house while these other people, like these 19 year olds have to like chill and act like this isn't Kelly Clarkson performing next to them. And something about that was just like so funny the way they try to set it up as like a really cute and casual thing. But it's like, babe, this is Kelly Clarkson. My favorite moment is when Lisa Loeb shows up in the middle of the bonfire like your mom's feminist friend and sings a song about gaslighting to all these frat boys. And the frat boys are just kind of sitting around like we don't know what to do here. Yeah, like some dude named Kyle in the, in the audience is probably just like, you know what, I hope I find like a really hot chick from this. <laughs> This is coming like right at the time where the 1990s high school movie is becoming popular. I'm thinking of Clueless and how it begins. Okay, you're probably going, is this like an Oxima commercial or what? What the MTV Beach House was, it was taking this Oxima commercial to the beach. And then you have these later movies like She's All That. The MTV Beach House was in She's All That. Even if I was emo punky kid, I still wanted to be in this giant pit of all these six pack guys and these bikini girls dancing my ass off. Definitely changed our idea of what glamorous American teenagers look like. Even the people that don't look cool look really, really cool when they're going through the grind. The sillier kind of skits they had that were just blatant advertising gimmicks, those didn't age that well. But I think that there's something timeless about watching a bunch of hot 20 year olds dancing or watching like a great live performance. Does that age well in 2021? I don't know, but I love it. <laughs> so it's just great.